Hello, my crafty friends. Today, I wanted to share my cards made with the August 2024 sheet load of cards. So the sheet load of cards is created by Alicia at Call Me Crafty Al, and the, uh, it's a sketch and cutting guide, and it's available free to subscribers of her YouTube channel. And it's free to subscribe, so it's definitely well worth it. And every month, she posts a new sheet load, the first of the month, and then the second of the month, she has a process video, and then she also has a creative team, and they all post uh, their take on the sheet load. So it's lots of fun. I liked this one a lot, and I got my uh, pieces cut, the cards assembled, like I was done by the second. And it's taken me till today to be able to photograph and video them. I've just been enjoying summer. I love summer. Summer's my favorite season. I don't like being cold. So I've really been enjoying summer, even in the heat wave. I'm not getting much creative time, um, but that's okay because I'm enjoying summer. So the pattern paper that I used is an older pad. It is from Recollections. I've had it for a number of years. There's only a few sheets left of the 12 by 12 and some smaller pieces. And I thought, well, I could really, like it's... It's within my grasp now to finish it off, but because I'm not in my craft room that much and it already looks like a bomb went off in there, I don't want to add to the stacks, um, so I am going to put it away, but try to remember that I'm really close to finishing it off and get that used up. So that's the pattern paper that I used, and funnily enough, this is not even the one that I went to grab. I had a different idea. I knew I wanted to make sort of masculine birthday cards. When I went to go through the papers, I saw this one. I went, hey, let's see what's in there. And that's what I ended up going with. So here are my finished cards. Now, the sheet load, I don't think I mentioned, it does use two 12 by 12 pattern papers for a yield of eight cards. I generally make birthday cards with my sheet loads because I donate 25 birthday cards every month to my mom's old nursing home. So it's really nice to be able to create a whole batch of cards at a time. And I tell you, the sheet loads are so efficient. These ones were finished in lickety split. And I know I will make this one again. So the only difference that I made or the only change I made to the sketch was I added this strip of gold foil tape. I really liked the shine that gave. And then I didn't um, feel like covering it up with a sentiment. So I just added a fishtail banner there. And there is the stamped sentiment. So uh, like I say, it did make eight. So I have these ones here with the smaller cactus there and then these ones with with this print in the center and the larger cactus is the background so i have those ones and yes it does make eight cards and i did make eight but these six will be donated and the next two are for my stash and if they're going to be in my stash then of course if i'm going to be giving them out i want them to be a little bit fancier so these are the two here and they are pop-ups using karen berniston's twist flower pop-up or flower twist I can never never say it right so it's nice and flat for mailing I really like the the lift it gives it's a really quick and easy mechanism to use uh, one of my new favorites I think I've made 15 well I've made over 15 cards with it already and yeah I really like it I really do like it so they're both the same here the, the gold foil uh, tape and that I picked up on Amazon a couple of years ago um, amazon.ca and and they actually called it washi tape but there's a ton of it on a roll and I just keep using it and using it I really enjoy it this pattern paper here was a leftover there was a strip of it in the package because I had the package of paper for so long there's lots of bits and pieces in there so I was able to use up that strip on these two cards so it, it's not the same print is on the front, but hey, I got to use those up. So those are the cards there. I wanted to show you, this is the Twist Flower pop-up, and it actually works inside a three and a half inch width card, as well as wider cards. And you can animate all kinds of things. I just love it. It's very versatile. And here Karen is showing that you can actually put three of them inside a slimline card. So that's the Twist Flower pop-up. And the happy birthday, I don't know if I mentioned that, but that uh, the happy birthday and the happy birthday shadow are also by Karen Berniston. And then this is the stamp set that I used. It's a little piece of tape there. It is from Pink Fresh Studios. I've had it for a couple of years and I really get a lot of use out of it. I also bought the coordinating dies, um, but I actually don't use them as often as I thought I would have. However, the stamp set, it's got some fun things on it and it's just very versatile. So that's the stamp set that I used. And then I also wanted to show you, oh, and the punch. So this was a punch and it's a Stampin' Up! punch. And I have no idea if it's still available, but that's what I used for that. And then if you look at the cutting guide, 
you have some leftover pattern paper here. So you're using two sheets of 12 by 12, so you've got this much pattern paper left over from both sheets. So I made two bonus cards. I could have made this layout again using this print and had three bonus cards, but I didn't really like it. I didn't like that, on the, like it just wasn't for me. So that leftover strip ended up going into recycling. But for the rest of it, I made these two cards. This panel, I just cut down and matted it. There's the same punch as I used in here with the same stamps, popped it up with some foam tape. Um, the nursing home cards are hand delivered to the residents, so I don't need to worry about bulk. Um, or say wait for mailing, and they have the same sentiment inside. So that one is just a standard A2, and I don't know if I mentioned, but it, this uh, sheet load creates eight standard A2 cards, and those are four and a quarter by five and a half. And this one is a top folding card. So I ended up with 10 cards using this sheet load. No paper scraps to deal with. I've got eight cards that I can donate and two for my stash that are fun little pop-ups. If you enjoyed my video today, please hit that like button, subscribe to see more, and that's it for me today.